Stephen Paddock, the Las Vegas shooter, was an Antifa part who completed the most exceedingly bad mass shooting in American history with a specific end goal to make a cis division in American culture, push the nation towards common war, and further the plan of the elites, as indicated by new data being smothered by predominant press. Official Antifa Facebook account, Antifa Melbourne, transferred a post to Facebook saluting Stephen Paddock and the Las Vegas Antifa part on the slaughter and carnage, expressing, one of our companions from our Las Vegas branch has made these rightist Trump supporting canines pay. As indicated by telecaster Alex Jones, a senior cop associated with attempting to catch Stephen Paddock affirmed to him that the shooter was unquestionably an individual from Antifa. When they went into his in-room, it was brimming with Antifa-related stuff. There was Antifa poo all over. He set up a battle and battled to the passing in his in-room, the cop said. America's disruptive governmental issues and culture of social division have given the first class the valuable fearmongers important to do their filthy work for them. Antifa, the rough radical wing of the Democratic Party and the New World Order, are the helpful nitwits being exploited by the tip top in 2017. The irritating actuality is that experts thought about Stephen Paddock's gets ready for the mass shooting assault in Las Vegas that focused preservationists going to a down-home music celebration, and enabled it to occur so as to facilitate their motivation. Knowledge and lore requirement knew about plans by numerous shooters to slaughter whatever number individuals as could reasonably be expected in Las Vegas, but instead then capture the psychological militant, they let him execute many individuals and harm hundreds, and the loss of life may yet ascend significantly higher. Police Scanner Sound incorporates reports of different shooters, with reports that shooters discharged from the Mandalay Bay and shots in the Caesar and Bellagio. Be that as it may, law authorization and media, following a recognizable example in cases, for example, this, later changed the account, asserting it was crafted by a solitary wolf, who, advantageously, was dead. He was not caught on insecurity film notwithstanding being in Las Vegas, home of the world's most obtrusive lodging security, and the reality he was allegedly storing 10 programmed weapons in his in-room. Related, Las Vegas shooting eyewitness details false flag warning. U.S. knowledge and law implementation, workers of the New World Order, enabled this assault to occur with a specific end goal to legitimize taking action against the blameless populace much further taking without and increasingly affable freedoms, until the point that we are living in a police state. The scared open, getting their data from the prevailing press, will enable the first class to transform our general public into a police state. They will pick well-being over freedom. For the record, recognizing an occasion as a false banner does not imply that no one was a murdered. It doesn't imply that everyone included is an on-screen character. It implies that the first class are utilizing the occasion to advance their plan. Some of the time they design the occasion. Some of the time they enable it to happen. With the predominant press as of now calling this the deadliest regularly shooting in American history, and with their rehashed references to the shooter's huge weapon stash, you can be guaranteed that a push for a substantial scale firearm snatch is just around the corner. Similarly as ISIS calls passing and decimation in Syria, Iraq and Libya on the US-European dime, local fear-based oppressors of various stripes likewise cause tumult in huge American urban communities. This is all piece of the arrangement to destabilize the free world and take away affable freedoms, protection and the privilege to a good life. The Las Vegas assault has eerie likenesses to past false banner occasions on American soil. San Bernardino, Orlando, Boston, Charlottesville, and also the Paris Dread Assaults of November 2015. The American false banners, and additionally the Paris and Manchester false banners, are all dominoes that fell, as coordinated by the New World Order, as a major aspect of a master plan that expects to crush the Western world as we probably am aware it. Fear-based oppressors are strolling uninhibitedly into our nations and being permitted to perform brutal acts that threaten great, reputable residents. Neighborhood subjects are being transformed into valuable blockheads, performing similarly uncouth acts to sow division in the public eye. 
now and again law implementation and insight really help the fear-based oppressors. The new world order walks on. Sources are guaranteeing the NFL is said to be the following focus in an influx of residential fear that is set to deteriorate. To start with young ladies, at that point music fans, next football fans. Emergency and fiasco will be the request of the day, as the elites walk us towards a police state and a new world order. While the fear-based oppressors are permitted to meander aimlessly, and savage residential subjects are utilized to encourage the first-class motivation, we will be the ones detained.